Good everybody, welcome in. If you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, make sure you like this live. Um, if you watch on replay, make sure you say replay down in the chat below. We have tons of orders going out today. I have to actually check and see how many we have. Let's see. 24, four Poshmark, one Mercari. So 29 orders going out the door. Along with all the whatnot orders, but those were shipped yesterday. So all we have to do is ship eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Welcome in everybody. What's up, Joel? Joel's first. <clears throat> Let me know how your guys' sales were um, over the weekend. We had a really good weekend. What's up, Dilly? Dilly's in the chat. Appreciate sure everybody hopping on in. We'll get started in just a minute. Make sure all these are running good. What's up, everybody on IG? It's Facebook, YouTube. Everything's running. What's up, Trisha? Elliot, what's up, Elliot? Appreciate the heart me. All right, one Mercari. No, we have more than that. We have 30 orders. We have one Mercari, five Poshmark, and 24 eBay. So we'll get the Poshmark and Mercari out the way real quick. Thanks for the heart me. You ship your pants yet? I always ship my pants. Every morning, I ship at least one pair of pants. Way to go, you're killing it. Appreciate you. Thank you for hopping in. Thank you for hopping in, Luis. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. I think we got enough people here off the back. Off the, what, what are you talking Oh, you want this? No, it's not, it's not happening. I got this from Joel. You gotta follow Joel over on whatnot to get some steals and deals like this. What's up, Lila? I shit my pants too. They were brown. Well, that's not good. Unless they're supposed to be brown and then that is good. All right, first order going out the door. These are current Elliott jeans. I sold these over on Mercari. These have been listed forever. I'm glad to see these gone. Sold for $24. I paid $2.68 for them. So I made a profit of $11 on these. Um, they're going pretty close, so they're gonna go ground advantage. So all I'm gonna do is grab a gyro pack, ship them out, easy peasy. Easy peasy, <laughs> at least they're not green yet. That would be, that'd be, then you'd have to go to a doctor. Uh, what's up 11 degrees crazy it is hot here in Florida again it is like 75 outside I think or something like that today it's hot it's hot again hello Kayla's roommate hi mom Kit Kat says hi mom hi Kit Kat hi Kit Kat Kit Kat's in the chat all right that one shipped throw a ground advantage label on that and that one's good to go now let's get the Poshmark sales out of the way Poshmark sales go into Tyvek envelopes so I just scroll down to the bottom and I'm ready to go. First up, we got a pair of Tommy Bahama pants. They're right here, 15 in upstate New York, ouch, ouch. These are Tommy Bahama Chino pants. I picked these up in a bulk buy locally. I paid, hold on, how much did I pay for these? Um, I paid $8 for these. They sold for 50 bucks. So after fees, shipping, cost of goods, I make a profit of 32. These were brand new with the tag. So good, good deal on these. And they sold within a month, so it was a good sale too. Appreciate everybody hopping in. Let me know in the chat, how were your sales this weekend? How did everybody do on this long, long weekend? Long weekends, everybody usually has big package stacks because they got like an extra day to make sales. So six degrees, ouch, six degrees. That's crazy. You guys should all move to Florida. It doesn't get that cold here, fun fact. Good morning uh, for cold snow. 20 degrees and four inches of snow, holy cow i've never had to shovel snow out of a driveway in my life i don't envy anybody that does i saw buried's buried's posts the other day about him shoveling snow and i'm like no thank you no thank you i packed them all in live last night nice all right next up we got a good sale this is a men's shirt brand you should always be on the lookout for the brand is steo steo is a really great brand um pick this up at um, play, no, yeah, Plato's Closet for $14.98. This one sold for 40 bucks. So after fees, shipping, cost of goods, I make $17.02. I believe this is in one of my videos that I made like a month or two ago. It took a little bit to sell because um, it was a men's size small, but uh, still made a good profit on that one. So what's up, Angie? That's six inches last night. No Barry D. Uh, not the good kind. No Barry D. Not the good kind. Uh, I bought a cool jacket for 44 and it sold in one day for 90, had it listed for 115. I think I should have held the full price. I think you made good money on that. Sold in a, 
sold it in one day. That's 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 a good flip in my eyes. So maybe you could have held out for a little bit more, but you might have had to wait a month to get a little bit more. Um, somebody was looking for that item. They wanted it. They made you an offer. You accepted it, and you probably made about what 35 bucks on that sale in one day. That's not too bad. 41 degrees in Oregon. That's not too too bad, I guess. 3200 since Thursday. It's negative seven here. Uh, nice and not nice. Negative seven is not nice. You guys are just like stuck in the house for like the last like couple days. That sucks. Um, how can I get started to sell? Sell items in your house. Sell items. Go through your junk drawers. Go through your closets. Sell some shoes. Um, everybody has about a thousand dollars worth of stuff that's just laying around their house that they could just literally sell. That's what I always tell everybody. It's snowing here in Florida. It is, and in, in the I think it's in the Panhandle, right? It's snowing there. What's up, um, Sonia? I think it's snowing in the Panhandle. Next up, we got a pair of jeans. These are seven for all mankind men's jeans. I always tell you guys to list these high because they always sell high for me. Um, I paid five thirty four for these seven for all mankind. They were size thirty one. Um, sold for thirty seven bucks after fees, shipping, cost of goods. I make a profit of twenty four dollars and twenty six cents on these jeans. They're going to go right into a Tyvek envelope. Again, this is a Poshmark sale, so everything pretty much goes into a Tyvek envelope. It's currently thunderstorm outside here. Yeah, it's supposed to rain a little bit here, but I don't think we're going to get, we're not going to get like the major storms here. You guys are getting major storms. 30 degrees in Pensacola area. Um, and power is out. Ouch. That sucks. Seven for all mankind. Better in men's unless they're dojos. Dojos sell really well. Women's women's seven for all mankind dojos with the seven on the back pocket and they're like flare leg. Those always do really good. But everything else pretty much is seven for all mankind men's jeans in bigger sizes. It's actually a pretty small size and it's still sold fairly well. So, um, all right, I'm caught up over there. Does anybody say anything on IG? IG, I always miss you guys because you guys are on a separate tab. I think we're good. I think we're good on IG. <laughs> They're so hard to find. I only find women's. Yeah, men's are harder to find, but they also also sell better. So most likely they're they're getting thrifted and, and sold ASAP. Next up, another pair of jeans. These are Carhartt jeans. You can see the little Carhartt hit right there. Uh, what I sell these for? Uh, pick these up for seven forty seven. They sold for twenty eight dollars over on Poshmark. So after fees, shipping, cost of goods, I make fourteen dollars and ninety three cents. This is going to go again into a Tyvek envelope. I traveled from Indy yesterday um, morning, 85 degree temp difference. That's crazy. That's insane. That's insane. Uh, do Tommy Bahama jeans sell well? Not really, no. I don't really pick up Tommy Bahama jeans. If you can get them cheap, like at the bins or something, maybe it's worth your time. But um, other than that, I would say no. They're not good movers. Even new with tags, they won't really sell that well. All right, that one's shipped. Levi's for women. I don't pick up much much Levi's at all, to be honest. Um, so I don't really know. I don't I, re I don't really know which styles sell best for women and men. I don't really pick up too many Levi's. I'll pick them up if they're new with tags or they're vintage, and that's pretty much it. Um, last Poshmark sale is this men's um, Carhartt shirt. Pick this up for. Um, Six dollars and forty-two cents. This one sold for twenty-seven dollars. So after fee, shipping, cost of goods, we make a profit of uh, fifteen dollars and eighteen cents on this one. Um, I only have one more of these left. If you saw that video recently, I actually gave. I think I found five of these or six. I gave like three or two or three to Chris, and then I took um, three of them. And uh, yeah, they're selling really well. I only got one more left. I actually got to add this to an eBay listing because I didn't put the right quantity. So technically it says I'm sold out right now, but really I'm not. Do you sell out of pink sweatshirts? No, I still have um, pink hoodies. So if you guys go over to my um, whatnot right now, in the shop I have size medium, large, and XL. And I think I only have 15 left. All of those, all proceeds go to breast cancer awareness and I'm not making any more of those hoodies. So if you buy one, you're one of the only 55 in the entire world that will have one of those hoodies. And all proceeds again go to breast cancer awareness. So I wanna to try to sell out this week so I can make the donation. I think we've raised like $500 so far, um, but uh, we need to sell the last 15. If we sell the last 15, we should be able to donate somewhere around $700 in total. So if you want one, they're loaded in the shop. And if you go through the link in my bio, you'll get $15 credit. You can use it towards one of the hoodies. That's perfectly fine. But there's only 15 left. So go buy one. I think there's 15. Something like that. There's there's only a little bit left. 
All right, that's um, eBay. That's, oh no, that's Poshmark and Mercari. Now we're gonna ship eBay orders. I'm just gonna grab these at random because I have a whole mess of eBay orders. So I just listed a pair of men's page jeans on eBay and Poshmark and they sold both at the same time. You probably listed them too low then because I never get page jeans to sell that fast. They do sell well, but they don't sell that fast. Um, intimately free, these are intimately free people um, like knit sleep pants. Pick these up for $5.35. They sold within like two minutes of listing for $17 plus shipping. Maybe I listed these too low. I don't know, but I took that offer. I'm $17 plus shipping for intimately free sleep pants. Um, how do we come become a consignment for you? Consigned for you? Um, if you're interested in consignment, I have a post on my Facebook and my Instagram going over exactly how consignment works. It's 70 30 splits. You get 70%, we get 30%. Um, after fees, um, we're looking for items that sell for 35 or more on eBay. Um, you ship it to us, so you pay for shipping to us. Um, we review the items. Just please make sure none of your items have stains or flaws, otherwise you have to pay return shipping back. And again, we're looking for cold weather items that sell for 35 or more. We're not looking for summer items right now because if we run those on whatnot, they're not gonna sell for much because everywhere it's cold outside. And this is not a um, service to offload your junk that is not selling for $20 on eBay. I get so many DMs every day from people that want to consign, but they send me like $15 items. They're like, here, can you sell this? Like I could, but it would sell for like $6 on my whatnot show and then nobody would make money. Um, so we're looking for items that sell for $35 or more on eBay. That way everybody wins. I want everybody to win in this in this circumstance. That's why we're doing 70, 30 splits. I could easily increase that to 50, 50 splits if I wanted to, and I could still get consignment in, but I want everybody to win. So that's why I'm keeping at 70, 30. And I'm probably gonna keep it at 70, 30 for at least a little while longer. I might move it to 60, 40 as our shows grow. And as we're getting more money per unit, it just makes sense to increase it at that point. But for right now, 70, 30 splits. It'll probably be like that for at least another month or two. Boop, that one shipped. Ground advantage. But yeah, post is on Instagram. Go check the post on Instagram or Facebook. It goes over all the details of how it works. You sell men's boots well, size 14. Um, it depends on the brand. Men's boots, size 14 is very vague. Um, if it's like a junky brand, of course they won't sell. But if it's like a pair of Doc Martens or if it's a pair of, I don't know, what's another really good boot? Um, fry boots or something like that, of course those are going to do well. Next up. This is a Roosevelt shirt. I picked this up off of, I wanna say it was um, Facebook Marketplace. I picked this up a while ago. I thought this would sell well. This is the Sandlot edition shirt. Where is it at? It's in here somewhere. Sandlot, yeah, I picked this up for $29.56. I got a bunch of these. All of them sold except for this one. This one took the longest to sell. Sold for 45 bucks. So I didn't make much profit on this one, um, but I thought this would sell better. Look at that. I thought this would sell better. It's a, it's a Sandlot shirt. But uh, didn't sell super fast. It took a while to sell. Um, would I pick it up again? Probably not. What's the best way to get good pictures of the merch? I use light boxes. Um, also, when you take photos, all you really need is good lighting. That's it. Good lighting will help your photos turn out better. Do you do Orvis or Jay Peterson? Um, certain pieces in both I'll pick up. But they have to be certain pieces in both. Like, for example, Orvis, like heavy jackets, um, fishing vests, those do really, really good, um, but it just depends on the piece. What's the best way? All right, answer that. Uh, I'm so surprised that eBay, while on a month long vacation, I um, I can't keep selling. Um, they only allowing 15 days. I'm not sure what that means, Mary. Uh, where do you get the clear bags from? If you check my pin post, Car um, Carly, Ka Kaylee, Kaylee, sorry. If you check my pin post, Kaylee, it has all the products we use on a daily basis, and the clear bags are linked there. They are linked in my pin post on Facebook. Well, light boxes up behind you. Again, that's also linked in my bio on TikTok. If you go through my bio on TikTok, go to products we use on a daily basis. That is linked there with all the measurements. So if you want to know exactly how big it is, it is pretty big. Um, make sure you measure your area. You're going to use it in your house, but that's linked in my bio as well. It's in my pin post on Facebook. Everywhere else, it's in my bio. Come on, working hard. Appreciate the uh, follow. If you're not following, hit that follow button. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a live thrift. So we're going to be live from the thrift store. Live from the thrift store. So if you want to watch us live thrift, make sure you give a follow. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time will be live. By the way, I don't know if I can download my lives anymore. For some reason, TikTok is not allowing me to download 
my live thrift. So I have three downloaded that I can put up on YouTube, but I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to download the one from for tomorrow. But I tried to download a live the other night. Kayla tried it too. And for some reason there's an error with TikTok. It's not letting us download anything. So it's really annoying. What if I have a bunch of stuff that won't sell? Well, what you should be doing is you should be looking up sell through rate, which is how many are listed versus how many are sold on eBay. That'll tell you if the item you're picking up will actually sell before you buy it. So if there's 100 listed and 100 sold, that's that means within 90 days, 100 sold and there's still 100 listed, which means if you list it, it should take 90 days to sell your item as long as you price it appropriately. So it should sell. If you do your research in the thrift store, all of your stuff should sell. Um, Paul and Shark. There's a men's Paul and Shark shirt. Picked this up for $5.34. Um, this one actually sold, I believe it went overseas for $23 plus shipping. This was listed for like uh, three days. It sold. Got amazing hustle. Congrats. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, do you feel like promoted closet on Poshmark? No, I don't think promoting on Poshmark is worth anything because if you didn't know, Poshmark promotion is pay per click. Um, which is ridiculous, by the way. They already take 20% of your 20 percent of your sale, and now they want you to pay per click, which means if somebody clicks on your listing, they take their cut. It's crazy. Um, Poshmark is on the downspin right now. If you haven't heard in the reselling community, there's a lot of chatter about how Poshmark has pulled their services from multiple areas. They're just within the United States and Canada now. They were trying to expand, and they're trying to make their money from their sellers. Um, and that's the wrong way to go. eBay makes their money for their sellers, but they also, in most cases, will put their sellers first. They're not gonna take pretty much the whole entire cut from the sale. That's what Poshmark is trying to do right now. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're hurting for certain. And uh, hopefully they fix it. If not, I mean, that's why we list on multiple platforms, right? If I this month right now, it would cost me $92, that's insane. eBay only allows to sell on time away for 15 days. Oh, you went away for a month? Yeah, you can only do it for 15 days, correct. Uh, Poshmark implementing some Amazon methods with P uh, PPC. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Poshmark is just a, Poshmark is just a weird place right now. Hopefully they fix it. I'll just take you to, um, to see daily sales and how much inventory, depends on what you list. If you list stuff that has crazy sell through rate, for example, if I listed this polo bear sweater for $45 plus shipping, it would probably sell within a week because it's a desirable item, it has a good sell through rate, yada, yada, yada. If you list something like this wire right here, there's probably billions of these listed on eBay and you list it too high, it'll sit forever. So uh, yeah, it really depends on what you're listing. If you're listing mostly thrifted goods, my motto is once you hit about 500 listings, you'll see consistent da daily sales because you're gonna be picking up stuff that doesn't sell well, stuff that sells well, um, a little bit of mix of everything until you start learning the market. So yeah, that's what I always say. It always, it always takes about 500 items. If I had to do it over again and I had the knowledge I have right now, I could probably have daily consistent sales with only 100 listings because now I know like what sells and what doesn't sell. It's all a learning game. Love the hoodie, appreciate it. I got this from Joel over at Pretty Good Resells on Whatnot. You guys should all go follow Joel. He has really good stuff. Yesterday he ran Arcteryx, he ran Lululemon. What else did he run? He ran some crazy, he, he ran two American Giant pieces He's running crazy stuff. He's running better stuff than I am, to be honest. And he doesn't even have nearly as many followers. I don't understand it. You guys got to follow Joel over on Whatnot. I tried to get one of the other American Giant hoodies, but Arizona Pickin stole it from me. Absolutely stole it. Yep, pretty good resells. Go follow him on uh, Go follow him on uh, Whatnot. Me and Joel are probably going to set up. We're going to do a dual live. He's going to be the first person I do a dual live with. I'm saying that out loud right now. I'm speaking it to, into existence. I want to do a dual live with Joel. Burberry wool was crazy. I think I missed that one. I came in late. So you probably ran that one before I even got there. And he gave away a sweaty Betty brand new with tags. That was a buyer appreciation. It was a sweaty Betty. You guys need to follow Joel. Thanks so much for your input. No problem. Thanks for the questions. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them. I'm trying to answer as many people as I can. I got four platforms running at once right now, so I might be missing some questions. Like over on IG, Kurt has some questions, and I keep missing them. Um, do you list the same item on multiple selling platforms? The stuff we list on eBay gets listed to eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Um, the stuff that we put on Whatnot um, doesn't get listed but anywhere but Whatnot. Um, did I miss everybody else? I don't know what that says. That is that's crazy. Um, have you ever tried free flip cross lister? I've only tried um, list perfectly. That's the only one I've ever tried. LP and I have a link in my bio for that one. If you're interested, 
um, you get 30% off your first month with my with my code. Um, do you use a robot for Poshmark? Yes, I do. I use a it's a bot service. Uh, it's a auto posher. It's also linked in my bio. You get five dollars off your first month if you use my code. Auto posher does many things. It doesn't just do Poshmark. It does eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. So what it does is it shares my Poshmark closet. It follows people back on Poshmark. And then for eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and Depop, it delists and relists item for you. It creates brand new listings. So it's refreshing your um, closets and refreshing your stores all month long. You set it and forget it. You set your stipulations, you X out of the tab, and then it does its thing for the whole month. It also sends offers on all of those platforms. And the cool thing it does with Poshmark is it takes the item and it bundles it for you and then sends the offer. So you don't have to send discounted shipping. It'll bundle it, send the offer, no discounted shipping needed. Um, if you send an offer just directly on Poshmark, you have to send an offer with discounted shipping unless you bundle the item. So that's what Auto Posher does. It saves me a little bit of time. It saves me a lot of time actually, and it saves me some money too when it sends out those offers. So if you're interested again, that's linked in my bio. It's a set it and forget it service. You literally set your stipulations and you leave it alone. and It'll do it forever, forever and ever and ever. It just I haven't changed my settings in like, four months it just just does its thing so um yeah link in my bio for that next up one of my best sales this weekend this peter millar uh, polo can somebody guess what this sold for it's a peter millar i'll give you a hint it's a tour logo polo what did what did this sell for i, I need some i need some suggestions in the chat what do you guys think this by the way it's pre-owned it's not brand new um how much do you think it's sold for drop it in the chat i want to see i want to see what who gets closest 75, 46, 90, 109, 60, 55. Nobody's got it yet. Nobody's got it yet. Should be an easy one to guess too. Uh, almost, Michelle. Almost. Nope. Close. Close. You guys are you guys are good. Not 69. I wish it sold for 69. 50. Mm, nope. Okay. Elliot got it. 100 bucks. This polo in pre-owned condition sold for 100 bucks. The reason it sold for a hundred bucks is because it's a tour logo polo, which means it has the Peter Millar hit on the sleeve. Anytime you find these with a Peter Millar hit on the sleeve, that means it's a tour edition polo, meaning a professional golfer or somebody that plays in the tour. Um, they buy them from the shopping or they get, um, sometimes Peter Millar gives it to them if they're sponsored by Peter Millar. So this one I paid 1026 for and it sold for $99.99 plus shipping really good sale and i do have a couple more of these listed so um yeah i'm pretty pumped about that by the way if you guys caught my live thrift the other day there was that peter millar polo you guys remember that peter millar polo with the hit on the sleeve it was like some random it was some random hit on the sleeve it had a bunch of hits on the front and then it had hits on the sleeves you guys remember that polo that is a tour edition polo i'm glad i picked that up um this morning i got a 60 dollars offer on that i have it listed for 150 so i just listed it um, I did some comps and some research on it, and it is a tour edition polo. So that one should go for over a hundred bucks. Um, how can I get AutoPosh to automatically promote my items? So if the automatic promotion is set up on eBay, um, I'll tell you how to get to that. I just got to error on eBay. Doo -doo -doo. All right, um, to set up your automated promotions, you go to marketing and then you go to advertising dashboard. Down at the bottom is where you set your automated promoted listings up. So as soon as your item gets relisted, delisted and relisted, it'll automatically relist at whatever percentage you set that for. So yeah, that's how it works. It's on marketing and then advertising dashboard. That's how that works. That must be your favorite hoodie. I haven't worn this in like a week. I haven't worn this in a week. Everybody's like, do you wash that hoodie? Yes, I washed that hoodie. Just literally came out of the wash. It is fresh. All right, let me ship this one out. <clears throat> let me see if this works now. Okay, it does. Boom. Eight ounces is what this is going to ship for. But yes, it is my favorite hoodie. This one is my favorite because it's got the football on it and it's football season. So that's that's why it's my favorite. Um, what do you enter your sales in your spreadsheet? I need to do better. When do you enter your sales in the spreadsheet? Um, typically, I enter all my sales in before I ship. They're all loaded in right now except for the fees and the shipping because I haven't shipped some of these out. Um, but that's when I load them in is right before I ship my items. And then sometimes I wait like a week or two and then I'll go in and fill out all the fees and shipping. I was watching your video on listing. Uh, where do you, uh, where is the buyer pay shipping tab at? Down at the bottom when you create your listing, 
um, you can select um, you pay shipping or buyer pay shipping, but that's on your listing. Um, I have I have business policies set up, which is a little bit um, it's a little bit much to try to turn uh, learn business policies in the beginning. But when you first list, you just go down the bottom, you select buyer pay shipping. It's that easy. Um, where do you make a majority of your sales? E um, majority of my sales this year are going to come from whatnot. Last year, whatnot was my best selling platform. How do I find if your sales? How do I find for find for your sale this evening? If you want to uh, on whatnot? Yeah, it's Tuesday night, by the way. We have a whatnot show tonight, so make sure you go bookmark it. And we're doing choose your shoes again, so you guys got hokas on clouds. And we might go f buy some more shoes today if we get a chance to. But if you want to sign up, I have a link in my bio. Go get your fifteen dollars, and then go to my page. And at the top right hand corner on my show, there's a little button. You hit that button and bookmarks it. Are you baiting the auto posture thing? No, um, she hasn't come out with the um, the cross lister yet. At least I don't know. She hasn't come out with it. She hasn't told me she came out with it. Maybe she's beta testing it with other people, but not me yet. So I haven't tried it. Um, I hope it comes out here soon though. Do you buy pallets? I don't buy pallets. I buy zero pallets. I want to find a good source of pallets. I know this is, I mean, people don't give up their sources, but if you want to give me your source, um, so I can bring it to my shows. I'd appreciate it, but I'll do the I'll do the research and I'll figure it out myself. But I know pallets are something that people don't like sharing, which is completely fine. If I find a good company, I'm not going to share it. But um, yeah, if somebody wants to share it, feel free to reach out. All right, you guys, remember this piece? This is that Paca sweater. We picked this up for thirty-two dollars and ten cents. We did a post on Instagram and Facebook, and I asked you guys, do you know what this brand is? This is Paca. It's a really, really good brand to be on the lookout for. Super hard to find. Paid thirty-two dollars and ten cents for this at a thrift store, and it sold in one week for a hundred dollars plus shipping. Really, really good sale. Paca, and it's probably going right now because it's super cold outside, so that's why it's selling so quick. What's up, Dusty? Um, how long have you been doing this full-time job? Two years. Two years as a full-time income. This is going to go into a Tyvek envelope. Not Tyvek. So, Stephen, I'm not ignoring you. I promise, Amy. I would never ignore you, Amy. Amy, it's because you didn't leave any eggplant emojis in the chat. I just didn't know it was you. I thought I thought it was an imposter. I always know when you come into the chat, there is always eggplant emojis somewhere within the chat. All right, that one's gonna go again into a. I think I said Tyvek envelope. It's going to gyro pack, and it's gonna ship for seven dollars and eighty-five cents. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, Travis, that, that's a good one too. Uh, what was a tour shirt? Well, it's a short sleeve. It's a short sleeve tour logo polo. Had a really good pattern to it too, which helped that uh, price. But yeah, tour logo polos, really good patterns. Even a blank tour logo polo, just a solid white one, would go for 80 bucks. Easy money. But yeah, even in the middle of winter, that thing's selling for 100 bucks. You list them high and you wait for the right person. That's not something that's going to sell super fast. But you get it, list it, list it super high. Wait for that golfer that comes around that says, I want to look like I was in the tour. I'm going to buy that shirt. Do you promote listings? I promote everything at 5%. People request a return on Poshmark. Do you say anything or just wait for Poshmark to decide? Sometimes I'll just put a message in there. So if they, like for example, for example, if they create a return and they're like, hey, this item doesn't fit, I'll, I'll basically remind the Poshmark person that they can't return for fit issues. So I'll say, unfortunately, Poshmark does not allow a return for fit issues. Sorry, this item does not work out for you. Or sorry, this item did not work out for you. Something like that. And typically, um, I always get the return denied for them. So yeah. Um, next up, Ralph Lauren shirt, brand new with tags, paid $18.73. This one sold for $50 plus shipping. Um, what is a gyro pack? Gyro pack. Um, if you check my pin post, Grammy Pammy, there are these um, poly mailers, and I have a discount code. If you use the discount code, they will most likely, if you buy on the site, be cheaper than Amazon. I know if you buy them on TikTok, they're cheaper than Amazon. I think with that discount code, they are cheaper than Amazon. They're like the same exact ones I used to buy. They're the same quality and everything. I think they're made by the same place actually. But um, yeah, use my discount code, get your 10% off. Um, for gyro packs, and they have all kinds of different sizes, styles, everything. They have colored mailers, they have anything you could ever want um, in a poly bag. So use my discount code. And the brand is gyro pack. If you go through the link, um, the pin post, it'll tell you um, J I A R O, J I A R O, gyro pack. What's up, Casey? How much of your profit do you reinvest in new merchandise? I have a bank account. 
that has a good amount of money set up to where if I ever come across a bulk buy, I can just pay in cash. So I never really have an issue with uh, reinvesting because I already have like a good nest egg for reinvesting. So um, that's my answer to that. Uh, if I ever come across a bulk buy and have to spend 10 grand on it, I have 10 grand readily available at all times to invest in a big buyout. So yeah, dry packs are the best, great pricing. Yes, great pricing. And they're just like the bags I've been using this whole time. I was worried when I first like got them, I bought a, a bunch of them and I was like worried when they're coming in. I was like, damn, these probably are like really thin and they're just junk. But I got them in and I, I compared them to my ones that I buy on Amazon. I'm like, these are the exact same bags. They even have the same exact sticky strip and everything. So I was like, well, that works. And I get them cheaper than Amazon. So next up, Ralph Lauren. This is an XL Ralph Lauren. Um, I paid $8 for this in a bulk buy. Sold for $22.99 plus shipping um, Ralph Lauren shirts. Ralph Lauren doesn't sell, by the way. Don't pick up Ralph Lauren. It doesn't sell. Just leave it all for me at the thrift store. I'll pick it all up. Awesome poly miller ship. Nice quality, simple. They're not like super heavy duty, but they get the job done. I've, I haven't had one. I've shipped so many items with these um, in, the, in the last like month and I've never had one open up, never had an issue with any of them. They don't break, they're easy, easy to use. Um, do you ever order the free shipping? Yeah, the free shipping labels from UPS. No, I don't because I use a, um, a Dymo 4XL and unfortunately those labels do not work with my Dymo. So I haven't ordered them. Wait, I missed where you get the clear bags. Those are linked in my pin post and those are from Amazon. Um, the gyro pack does not make clear bags. They just make the poly bags. So if you need the clear bags, those you have to go to Amazon to get. Um, but the, the gyro packs, you go right to the gyro pack website, save your 10%. I think the code is Kway shop. You get the 10% uh, off your order and you can order as much as you want. There's no like limitation. So if you need a bunch of poly bags, Buy them all, get them shipped. I think if you order so much, you get free shipping too or something like that. So, yeah. What do you mean bulk buy? There's a guy locally that I go to every single week and um, he just has a bunch of stuff and I buy in bulk from him. I still remember you barely picked up Ralph Lauren. I know, and then Surf's changed my mind. That's what happens when you hang out with cool guys like Surf's Up Finds, he changes your mind on things. Like this, I am um, in Tampa Bay area. Like this Ralph Lauren shirt, another Ralph Lauren shirt. Remember they don't sell, don't pick them up. Um, paid $4.28 for this one. This one also sold for $22.99 plus shipping. Just a nice like pink Oxford shirt. Um, pink always sells well for men's stuff, by the way. So um, still figuring out shipping. Can I ship a Poshmark order in a priority? You can ship a po yep. Um, you can ship Poshmark orders in any priority mail packaging except for Express. Cannot ship um, Express packaging, but every other one, flat rate, doesn't matter. You can ship them on Poshmark. What's up, Trinity, Florida? You're pretty close, You're right around the corner from me. Is there any good stores in Trinity? I know there's only like a couple over there, right? I think I went there like a couple years ago and I stopped at one of the Goodwills. It was not very good. The auto posture does not help with whatnot. With whatnot, you don't really need help because there is a there is a pl uh, marketplace, but there's not enough people listing there. So it's not like you need a delist and relist on, on whatnot. I wonder how whatnot search algorithm works actually. If you list something and it sits for like a month, does it fall in search or do they just randomize it? That's something you need to figure out. I need to figure out. Uh, have you influenced um, any people in your life to start doing this? Yeah, my, uh, my smelly little sister and my smelly older sister, um, Kat and Kelly, both of them, um, they started after me and now they both do this full time. My older sister is pretty much a stay at home mom, although within the next year, her kids will all be at school. She'll probably still stay at home and take care of the house and resell. And then Kat also quit her full-time job and now she's reselling full-time. Both of them I taught how to do this. So I also taught my mom how to do this before she passed. Um, are you posting new live thrifts? Um, yes, I do have a bunch available and I need to post them. So you like my you like my polo bear surfs? What's up surfs? Somebody, some, uh, somebody mentioned they're like, I remember when you didn't pick up polo Ralph Lauren and it's all because of you. I told them it's because of you. You have influenced me and many good and bad ways. How many hours do you work? Um, this year I'm going to be working more than ever until we reach our goal. I'm probably working 60, 70 hours a week. I know a lot of people are like that's crazy, but we have a crazy goal we want to achieve, which means you got to work hard to do it. As soon as we achieve that goal, trust me, I'm taking some time off. I'm going to relax for a little bit and then I'll go right back into the grind. Amy, you're the goat. Next up, we have a um, Patagonia. This is a Patagonia women's capoline too. Just a small shirt. See how small that fits in there? 
Nice little small base layer shirt. Pick this up for $5.34. This one sold for $18 plus shipping. Not a crazy sale, but these always sell pretty quick for us. How's the goal coming along? Check the video. I just put out a video going over all the numbers yesterday, so make sure you check that out. And appreciate all the new follows, too. If you're not following, hit the follow button on any platform you're watching on. All those videos are doing really good. We're getting new followers in. And uh, if you haven't, sign up for Whatnot. I know it sounds weird to say that Whatnot is just literally giving people $15, but they're literally just giving you $15 to sign up. And then come out to our show tonight. We have another show at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get that $15 and then come out to the show. You can use the $15 towards something. Um, if let, let me do this. If you have signed up for Whatnot and you use your $15 credit, give me a thumbs up in the chat so people can see that it's not like a scam. You're literally, they're just giving you 15. They're like, here's a credit. Take it. Take the credit. Take the free money. Take the free money. Um, on TikTok, what was your question? Yeah, it's on TikTok. It's on all platforms. Uh, the video is on all platforms. Do Armani jeans have slight white, red, green paint speckles um, below the knee? They might on the, on the one that you have. There's all kinds of different ones. So... Possibly. There's destroyed and distressed jeans, so my eBay is frozen up. It's not doing anything. Look at all those thumbs up. Something went wrong. All right, let me purchase the label. All right, let me do this over again. I wonder if it bought the label. Sometimes it does this. Hang on, chat. Let me figure this out. Make sure I didn't just buy a label. Hoarders, shipping labels. Look at all those thumbs up. Those are all people that got $15. For free how do you do a thumbs up you just did it i'll take that as a thumbs up yep i did i did print the label for this i'm glad i checked it print another label void label label created but how do i print it it doesn't give me the option to print it hmm all right let me try this again What's up, Michelle? What software do you use? Right now I'm just using eBay to print out my labels. This is so weird. I can't actually ship this item. Um, I'm a new follower. Uh, what's the $15 about? It's for whatnot. If you go through the link in my bio and you sign up, you'll get $15 for free. That's what the $15 is about. I also get a kickback for that too, so it's a way to support the channel. Um, print coupon. I'm gonna set this one aside. eBay just glitched out and I cannot even print this label. It says purchase another label. Maybe I'll just do that and I'll just void the other label out. Let's see if this works. Yeah, this works, okay, we're good. Buenos dias. Reprint label is an option. Yeah, I wouldn't say, it didn't say reprint label above it for some reason. It, it like it gave me an error and then when I went back to reprint it it didn't give me the option it only gave me three options instead of four so it was just a glitch I already went to shipping labels Chris it literally said it didn't it didn't give me an option to reprint the, the order below that said reprint the order above that said label created but it didn't give me the option to reprint so because I got an error when I was trying to when I was trying to print it. Uh, I'm setting up whatnot Filming room in my garage. I need one of those. I need a whatnot filming room. I hope when we get a new house, we have space available for um, creating a whole whatnot space. That's what I want. <clears throat> All right, am I missing anybody on IG? I'm sorry, IG. I always forget about you. One Peter Millar sweater was mismarked at $6. Let's go. Um, I loaded up this weekend on Peter Millar and Ralph Lauren at Marshall's Yellow Tag Clarence. Nice. You got a sweater for 6 bucks, brand new. Holy cow. You lucky duck. Can you say, I don't know how to say that word and I'm not gonna try it. Is it Yayabera, right? Is it, that's how you say it? Something like that. I don't know how to say it. I'm clearly, I'm not Spanish. <laughs> I just, I don't know how to say that word. Um, next up, we got a Scully shirt. Really good one. This is one of those Scully bib shirts with that crazy thing on the front. I don't know how to say it. Or Yayabera, Yayabera, something like that. Um, I paid $16.05 for this and it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $77.73. So a really, really good sale. This is probably going to go padded flat rate because it is pretty heavy. Actually, no, it's going to go ground advantage as long as it's under three pounds. Um, I sent you on IG a while, a while back. You probably did and I, I listened to it, but I forget already. I literally forget. 
appreciate everybody signed up to the link. I got like six people that just signed up for whatnot. Um, go get your $15, people. And then come out tonight. Use that $15 tonight on our show. We have some crazy stuff. I put a couple little sneak peeks on IG because we're doing random pulls now, so you guys won't know what's coming up next. But I put some um, put some sneak peeks. We got a Robert Graham um, big skull head on the front sweater. Um, we got a uh, Western, what is it, a Wrangler, one of those Aztec print Western shirts. That one's brand new with tags. And all those start at a dollar. So, yeah. Yeah. That's it's it's gonna be insane tonight. Wayuvera. Wayuvera, is that how you pronounce it? Wayuvera? I tried. I tried chat. Listen, I'll never I'll tell you guys I, I don't know how to pronounce things all the time. Um, for example, everybody gives me shit because I say I always say especially, even though it's especially. And I didn't realize I was saying it wrong until I started making content online and then everybody in my comments were like, It's especially, it's not especially. I even told Kat that, and she was like, yeah, I say it the same way you do. Like, okay, I don't feel as bad now. <laughs> especially. Yeah, especially. It's pronounced Ku. Guyabera. Guyabera? I tried. Listen, I'm trying here. Next up, we got a Nike ACG. This is a Nike ACG jacket. Picked this up for $13.91. This one sold for $45 plus shipping. Nike ACG is one of those lines I will typically always pick up because they always sell really well. Does anybody know what ACG stands for in the chat? I know what it stands for, but do you know what it stands for? Do you know what it stands for? Close enough. I tried. I tried, chat. I tried. There you go. All conditions gear. Look at you guys. You guys know your stuff. I like this. So shocked that I post uh, multiple items a day and then don't for two to three days my sales tank. Yeah, it's algorithm. Algorithm. Everything has an algorithm. Everything has an algorithm. American clothing, no. It's all conditions gear. All conditions gear. Nike ACG is like the the hiking, you know, backpacking, outdoor line. So it's for all conditions. Um, this one's going to ship for $7.85. It's going to Texas. I mean, Texas is going outside. Do you say espresso? Ex espre do I, yeah, I do say espresso. That's Is that not how you say it? <laughs> I do say espresso. Do you say espresso or do you say espresso. espresso? See, I say it wrong. Mom, mom, can you say whatnot one time for me? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Can you say whatnot? <laughs> whatnot. Whatnot. <laughs> uh, that's one funny stuff. I didn't know it was espresso. Espresso. Damn. See, I mess up all kinds of words. I need to go to speech class or something. All right. Next up, we got a J Press. This is a J Press shirt. Uh, pick this up for five thirty-four. I actually picked this up and wanted to try it out. There was a suit, and I didn't pick up the suit because I was like, "Let's see if the shirt sells." Because the suit was a little bit more expensive, and the shirt sold within a month. So I'm hoping the suit is still at this thrift store, so I can pick it up next time I go. But J Press, this one sold twenty-two dollars plus shipping. I paid five thirty-four. <laughs> My fiance says, "What's not? What's not?" That's yeah. He adds an S in there. Um. Ask him how to say flanny. 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 Um, how much would you list a pair of brand new uh, for? You got to look those up. I, to, to be honest, I have no clue. I have no clue. I've never um, swim fins. I've never listed swim fins in my life. So that's something that you got to. I would put that as many keywords as you can with the name of the item and see exactly what they're selling for on eBay because, to be honest, I have no clue. Zero clue. Ever flip, flip golf clubs? No, I don't do much hard goods. I do mostly clothing. Very, very little hard goods. I actually have a couple hard goods that I sold that we're going to pack up in just a minute. But I mainly do clothing. By the way, after this chat, we got to go get our... Me and Kayla got to go get our passports. That's what we're going to do after this. Yeah, Line Creek guys. If you have any um, golf club questions or anything like that, Line Creek Boutique. That guy knows his golf club stuff. I don't golf. I have no clue what golf clubs even sell for. I wouldn't even be able to tell you if I found one that looked good. I would have to look it up. Um, next up, we got a... These are both already in the boxes. This is an L.L. Bean sweater. Uh, pick this up. It's a vintage L.L. Bean warm-up jacket. Pick this up for $5.34, and it sold for $20 plus shipping. I'm not going to take it out of the box to show you because I already packed it up in there. But, uh, yeah. I'm just using a shoe box. I don't have a bag big enough for this um, to like bag it or anything. So what I do is I just throw it in a box and ship it out. Um, 
never had an issue with anybody complaining about me not bagging the item. Um, just throw it in there, ship it out, should be good to go. It's going to ship for two pounds. Sold the Peter Millar wool cashmere for 110. Could have sold it for more, but it took two days. Yeah, that's, I mean, quick sales are always the best kind of sales. You could always think, I could have sold it for more, but you could have sold it for more, but maybe it took like three more months to sell. Or maybe you could have sold it for more and you waited too long and then it became summertime and then you had to wait till next year to sell it. So I always don't worry about that. That's a quick sale, take that quick money. And uh, yeah, good sale. Uh, the clothing sell well during the holidays? Yes, we sold plenty of clothing. Um, last year during the holidays, we actually sold more clothing than we did during summertime and even in the beginning of the year, but that's because we were selling on whatnot too. Last year we sold um, almost 9,000 units. This year we're probably gonna try to double that. Double it, double it. All right, that one's shipped. That one is shipped. How do you track your sales? Um, a spreadsheet. I'm literally looking at a spreadsheet right now. You want to see it? I haven't filled out all the information on it, but this is what the spreadsheet looks like. It says Jason Hayes spreadsheet. Pink. That's exactly what it looks like. So I'm reading my numbers off here. I haven't filled out these numbers yet because obviously um, I, I just shipped these items. But look, you can see all these numbers. Gives me the item that's sold, where it's sold, um, the amount it's sold for. Does this look good on IG? I bet you it doesn't. Um, I can get my profit and loss, all that good stuff, and I can go over my um, daily, monthly, and yearly totals. And this spreadsheet also separates my whatnot sales on here too. So everything is all separated, so it's easy to track. If you need a spreadsheet, that one is linked in my bio. That is Jason Hayes spreadsheet. Jason Hayes is another reseller in the community. He made that for us resellers. Uh, where do you list, uh, when do you list spring items? Um, I'm going to start listing them in March ish, February, March ish, sometime around there, depending on how fast I can get through all my, um, my cold weather items. Uh, what is whatnot? Um, where you just go live and sell stuff. Yes. It's just like this, just like this, except we're live and we're holding up items and we're selling stuff. We're having a good time. We're doing giveaways. It's a lot of fun. So make sure you come out tonight, eight, eight 30 PM Eastern standard time. If you've never been there, Again, go through the link in my bio, go get your $15 and then come out tonight and just hang out. You don't have to spend anything. You have your $15 ready in the gun, ready to spend. But if you don't want to spend it, you can just hang out and watch us. It's a lot of fun. You do it on your phone. So you can sit and watch TV and watch us on whatnot. What's up, Barry? Appreciate the uh, all the gifties. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren shirt, size 17 and a half. Picked this up for $6.96. And this one also sold for $22.99 plus shipping. That's the third Ralph Lauren shirt that sold for $22.99 plus ship. This one has a really good pattern to it. So I think that's why it sold so well, so fast. Early asked about folding and bagging clothes. I also like to know who fills out the spreadsheet and when. Um, we can a good live video. Okay, so folding and bagging clothes. Um, Folding and bagging clothes. So right now mom is actually bagging the items that she just listed and then they're ready to put in inventory. So right after we get done taking photos and putting them into the listings, she bags them and then we put them into inventory. Um, the spreadsheet gets filled out before I go live. So every morning before I go live, I fill out my spreadsheet with my totals, except for obviously shipping and stuff because I haven't shipped out the items yet. Um, so eBay doesn't get filled out. Everything else is pretty much filled out before I go live. Hope that answers your question. All right, let's ship this bad boy out. Barry D with the roses. Thank you, Barry D, for the roses. Uh, I got a pair of suede purple shoes the other day at a thrift. They were like new condition. I sent it the le legit grails, and they are authentic. How much will you list for? Uh, oh, Prada suede shoes. Um, I would look up comps. To be honest, I have no clue. Um, you would have to look up comps because I don't, I don't, that's not something I come across very often. So to, to know the price of Prada, I know it's probably like over a hundred bucks, but I don't know in pre-owned condition. Are you live on whatnot eBay right now? Is that where the comments are? No. So I'm live on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram all at once. That's why you don't see comments because I'm live on multiple platforms. I have 161 people watching me on TikTok. I have 65 on Facebook and YouTube and I got 21 over here on IG. So everywhere, all at once, live everywhere. Um, ever find a Jinko jeans while thrifting? I've never found Jinko. That's like the next, like, that's like the next item I really want to find is Jinko jeans. 
All right, these two are two Twillery shirts. They both sold to the same buyer, but they bought them separately. So what I have to do is I have to combine the order. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna talk through the steps of doing this because I can't show my screen because I don't wanna show the buyer's information. But you're gonna select both orders. There's a little box next to both orders. And then at the top, you're gonna go to shipping and you're gonna hit purchase shipping label. I'm about to sneeze. After you go to purchase shipping label, it's gonna go to a buy labels and bulk page. Once you do that, you're gonna select all, and then at the top right-hand corner, it says combine. And now both of these orders are combined into one order, and I can ship them to the same address. Um, so I'm gonna just figure out how I'm gonna ship these. Um, these are gonna go ground advantage. I saw you picked up um, Best Made Co Pants, took offer of 70 for Best Made Wool Sweater. Nice, I think I have those listed. I don't know if they've sold yet. But um, yeah, I looked up comps, they're pretty crazy. I did pay up for them, but uh, they are pretty crazy. What time does your live show start? 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, all week. All the shows for the next three weeks are all loaded, so make sure you go bookmark all the shows. Um, tonight is random pulls. I think we're doing random pulls all week because it's just super easy for me to load. Um, and with us going from 75 to 100 items probably next week, um, I'm going to need to be as efficient as possible. So that's why we're going to random pulls now. It's just easier, more simple for everybody. Um, and I think most of you have more fun with the random pulls anyway. So what brand are those? Twillery. Twillery. T-W-I-L-L-O-R-Y. They're both size 15 and a half. They both sold to the same buyer. Uh, eBay's lagging. eBay's shipping labels are messing up this morning. There we go. Print. All right, back to orders. We only have a few left, a few orders left. I mean, all I do is paste the tracking number into the second order. I don't know if that saves your time or not. You can do that, um, but I, I just combine it. I just combine it. I like the way it looks. It looks pretty to me when it's, it's all in one order. What's the best part? What's the best part of K-Way? What's the best part of K-Way? I think you answered that question. What's the best part of capital K-A-Y, lowercase W-A-Y? That's what Dusty said. K-Way. Man. Mm. I think you answered that, Dusty. Next up. Um, do you prefer uh, Mercari or Poshmark? Um, that's hard. I I'm not listening to Mercari anymore, so it has to be Poshmark. I was listing there last year. I don't think I'm going to list there anymore because I don't get much... Um, um, I don't get much sales on Mercari to make it make sense to list there. Random pools um, adds more suspense for the viewers, yes, and it's just easier for us to load. If it was easy for us to load both, I would still do both shows. But pretty much last night, I loaded up almost the entire show in an hour. Like for today's show, I loaded up in an hour. So before when I had to take photos, we had to put in proper titles and everything, it would take like sometimes two to three hours to load a show. If I can do, in that same time, I can almost load the whole all the shows for the whole week and the same time it had me list one show. So it just makes more sense to do it that way. Next up, Eileen Fisher. Um, this is a women's small wool blend sweater. Picked this up for $3.21. This one sold for $35 over on eBay. It is under a pound, which means it's gonna go ground advantage. Why'd you name it K-Way if you go by Steven? Because I go by Steven only in my um, family setting. I go by Wayne in all other settings, but the only reason I go by Steven in my family setting is because my dad's name is also Wayne. So whenever we're in the same room, if you said Wayne, both of us would answer. So when I was younger, I always went by my middle name. He also, he went by his middle name when he was like in the family setting, but he also went by Wayne too. So anytime somebody said Wayne, he pretty much answered because he's big Wayne. And uh, yeah, so that's how you get Steven and Wayne. Plus, K Steve Shop doesn't sound as good as K Way Shop. Just doesn't doesn't have a ring to it. Zero ring to that. So yeah, your dad's um, IG pops up for me as people I know. <laughs> don't friend request that guy. <laughs> Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's not technical. Uh, he's not. He's he had he put some weird stuff on Facebook and IG. He just is, and he posts very randomly, so he won't post for like three months, and then he'll randomly like post for like three days in a row, and then he'll stop posting forever. It's a very weird guy. That's where I get it from. That's where I get it from. 
Young Wheezy. Wheezy F. Alright, next up, what do we got next? BS2. BS2. This is a Lafayette 148 Wool Cashmere Blend Cardigan. Pick this up for 803. This one sold for 30 doll hairs. This one's probably gonna go ground advantage as well. Let me weigh it really quick. Yep, it's gonna go ground advantage as well. Stranger danger. Yeah, he might like message you. He might message you on the side. Be like, who are you? You wanna have a conversation? Very Because I want to. Uh, I always thought about this. If I ever make a podcast, I think one of my podcasts, I'm gonna do a podcast with my dad. Because <laughs> he. Uh, that'd be a funny podcast to do. Uh, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future, I'll make a podcast. I uh, found me a Kuji sweater 4XL. Let's go. That's a good size. Hopefully, it's got a really good pattern to it. Um, do you list your supplies? All the supplies I use on a regular basis are linked in my bio. What's up, flipping nurse? My dad would be DMing every girl. Well, my dad is, he's single. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. He's with somebody, but he's also not with them at the same time. So he probably would be DMing people too. I don't, I don't get into that with my dad. He tries, but I'm like, no, I don't want to talk about this. This is weird. But yeah, he's, uh, he's, in, his, uh, he's in his playboy stage, I guess. I don't know. Next up, D6. We got a pair of, I think these are AG jeans. Pick these up for 11.11. I've had these listed forever. They finally sold for $36.44. Um, they're just size 30. They've, they've been listed forever. Um, yeah, they've been. The photos on these are so bad because they've been listed forever. Luckily, they're gone. Um, do you ever log every expense to your spreadsheet after a thrift haul? Yes, I've been doing that because of with this challenge, I want to make sure I keep up with the numbers correctly. So yes, I have been logging all of my numbers into the spreadsheet as soon as I get them. So like all the receipts, they're not on my desk anymore. I used to have like a pile of receipts. They're all put away and organized because I need to keep up with the numbers to keep up with the, the challenge and all that stuff. So yeah, Um, this is gonna go, I was gonna put this uh, padded flat rate, but I don't have one next to me. So I'm gonna put this ground advantage. I might pay a little bit more, but I don't feel like finding the padded. Um, do you list the hours of your shows? Uh, can you list the hours of your shows? They're 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you go to Whatnot, all of them are posted. All the dates are posted. And all you have to do is hit the bookmark button. And as soon as we start the show, you'll get a notification on your phone when they go live. But just know 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Every single week is going to be that schedule. I don't think we're going to switch it up. The only time it's not going to be that schedule is when we do pop-ups. So when I says my number isn't valid and won't give your 20, your, your phone number isn't valid, make sure you put in the proper phone number in. Make sure you put in your proper phone number in. And if not, reach out to support. And just just uh, send them a message on support. It said, hey, I signed up with Kway's link and I'm using my proper phone number and it's saying that I'm not. Can I get my $15 credit, please? And they'll probably just give you your $15 credit. They're really good about that and they answer really fast over there. So yeah, just message them. Say, hey, hey, bro, let me get my $15, bro. But yeah, if you just signed up for whatnot through my link, make sure you verify your phone number. Um, because if you don't verify your phone number, they don't give you $15. You have to verify it because they have to make sure you're a legitimate person and not a bot signing up for multiple accounts. Just get a multiple $15 over and over again. Um, polo Ralph Lauren, this is just a simple polo shirt. It's got a little logo on the front, $3.21. This one sold for $17.99 plus shipping. $17.99 plus ship. If you and your wife took a break yet since doing this, um, yeah, we take vacations often. We Last year, I think we took like two or three vacations. We sometimes take like trips on the weekends to just, um, I think it was a couple months ago, we took a trip, a trip on the weekend to go just to a, a, a resort in Orlando. Um, for the next couple months, we're probably not gonna take much vacations, but we do have a cruise planned for our anniversary in April. So that week weekend, we probably won't do any whatnot shows because, well, we won't do any whatnot shows. We're going to be in on a cruise. Whatnot from the cruise? You guys want to do a whatnot from a cruise? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to take a vacation then. Um, and then we'll probably take, after we complete the, the challenge, we're probably definitely going to take another vacation because, yeah, this, this next like four weeks are going to be stressful. Is there a replay of this live? You can watch this live at any time on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. 
Not on TikTok though, because TikTok doesn't do live uh, replays. Um, last three items. This is a J. Crew sweater. Um, this is the name of it is a Kilkara Genuine Tight Knit Sweater. It's a men's XL. Really good one to be on the lookout for. When I saw that Kilkara label, I was like, hmm, this looks fancy. I looked it up. Paid $534. This one sold for $48 plus shipping. Really good sale. $48.50 plus shipping. Pre owned condition. That's one of my most common questions now. People DMing me. By the way, don't DM me with simple questions. I will not answer your DM. Message on the videos and I'll answer you. Right now, my DMs are flooded with do you wash items that you pick up from thrift stores? Literally, every day, 15 people message me. Do you wash the items you pick up? Do you list the items as pre owned or do you list them as new? My, all of my DMs. Just um, please, if you have a question, like message on the videos. And most of the time, somebody will answer it for you because most of the people like see those questions, they already know the answer that I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, every day, every single day. Do you wash items you pick up? Like, whoo, lots of those questions <laughs> all day long. Uh, I'll be DMing you what's for lunch. I don't know what's for lunch because we got to go. We got to go um, get our passports done. So I guess we'll probably stop somewhere on the way back. Whatever's on the way back. Where's the priority mail? There it is. Ooh, this is shipping close. This is going to Georgia. So to ship this priority mail for three pounds is only going to be seven dollars and twenty cents. That's really good. Seven twenty. What size poly mailers do you get? The um, eleven by nine, I think they are. They're either eleven by nine or twelve by ten. Both of them are great sizes for for shipping clothing anything between the 11 and the 10 mark and then 9 and 10 on the other side are good good for shipping clothing um i remember my first sale on posh bought a pair of ann taylor shoes for three dollars sold for 40 let's go let's go um could you type the name of the golf um expert in the chat please line creek boutique line creek boutique he's on um i think he has a youtube he's on youtube facebook instagram and TikTok, he's live on TikTok every single day. Same as I'm doing right here, he's probably gonna go live within the next 30 minutes. And then you can ask him all the golf club questions you have. Um, do you have to? Uh, do you have people to ship orders when you're on vacation? So when we're on vacation on eBay, we can still make sales, but on Poshmark and Mercari, we can't make sales anymore. Um, you basically put your uh, store. Probably just like uh, we do highlight how we please don't tell me <laughs> do this to me. Don't yep on all the forms. Yep on IG. I'm completely out on TikTok back for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn, we went a whole day yesterday without any lag, too. God, call him back. New internet, who dis? Yeah, I know. I know. Chat, I know. I see it. They said, this is what they told me, okay? This is what they told me, chat. This is what they told me. We should be back in a second. We should be full, unblurred in a second. Um, this is what they told me. They said they switched the line from one side of the room to the other. And in doing so, I should no longer have any lag. And I'm having lag. So, yeah. Give it a second. Let it all come back, and then we'll start talking. But, yeah. How are you and Kayla today? We're doing good, except for the fact that my internet just lagged out. And they told me that it wouldn't do that anymore. They said, we tested everything. The only way it could be, the only thing it could be is the fact that your line outside runs underground. So what we did was we switched you from that line to this line, and now it is still lagging, which is not good. That was the, that was one time, though. I'll, I'll see if it does it again. If it does it again within the next five minutes, I know it's the same issue. All right, let me show these last two. Yeah. Last two. Everything looks good here. Yeah, we came back. We came back. Where can I find the spreadsheet again? It is linked in my bio over on um, YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, it's linked in my pin post. Everywhere else, it's in my bio. So you just click on my bio. It goes to all the all the good stuff. Appreciate the uh, follow through the gift. All right, last two sales are two train sales. <coughs> two
two train sales. I have this train and I have this train. Um, this one sold for 14 plus ship. This one sold for 16, 19 plus ship. And uh, uh, I paid 325 each. So yeah. 3.5 Alright, all I'm going to do is take a little bit of bubble wrap, wrap these up, throw them into a poly bag, and they should be good to go. Where'd you get your trains? I got them in a bulk buy locally. Um, I normally pick up clothing, but this was a really good bulk buy. I still have a ton to list. Um, but yeah, really good deal on, on these trains. And all I'm going to do is take them, wrap them in a little bit of bubble wrap, ship them out into a poly bag, and they should be good to go. Oh, i got to figure out which one this is. Is it the orange one or yellow one? This is the orange one. Orange one. Sorry again for the lag. At least it only did it once, which is a good sign. Maybe it was just a random lag spike. Who knows? Bink, bink, bink. At least it did at the end of the live and not the beginning of the live. Too. All right, this again, put it in a little bit of bubble wrap, throw it into a poly bag. I know this looks weird. I used to put these in boxes, but I've been shipping them in poly bags and nothing has happened to them. So knock on wood, hopefully this nothing happens to this one. But um, yeah, they're already in a box. So you don't really need to box them up again. Blink. Um, good morning. Can you... Do you have done a tutorial on shipping? That's what we do these lives for in the morning. Um, a shipping tutorial is pretty hard to do because what's going to happen is, let's say I ship this item, right? I ship a train and I show you guys how to ship a train. And then what I'm going to get is like multiple questions on, so how do you ship a pair of shoes? And then the next one is going to be, how do you ship a shirt? And the next one is going to be, how do you ship a pair of jeans? And I'm going to have to make like 15 different tutorials on how to ship all the items. Um, but if you watch my lives in the morning, I go over how to ship. So basically, I take this item, I put it in this bag. I take this bag, I weigh it. I take this bag, and I'm going to weigh it. It's going to be under a pound. If the item is under a pound, it's always going to go ground advantage. There's very little circumstances that will ever go priority mail, especially when it weighs 8 ounces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to eBay. I'm going to throw that in at 8 ounces. And then if you really want to get technical... You take a measuring tape. This one um, measures 10 by 6 by 2. How do I get that measurement? 10 by 6 by 2. And then you put that into eBay. Throw 10 by 6 by 2 in there. And then it's going to go ground advantage for $4.44. The buyer paid $6.65. So I'm making a little bit of profit on, especially, yeah. I make a little bit of profit on shipping. I'm going to make a, a merch shirt for myself that just says X specially with an X. So that way when I get the, when I get the, uh, when I get the, uh, what do you call it? The messages and stuff. I'm going to be like, I don't care. I have a, I have a shirt that goes over it. Barry does live surfing. Barry, Barry doesn't know clothing. That's the problem. <laughs> I, I watched a little bit of it. Barry's like, is this a vintage Nike tag? <laughs> like, Barry, that is a new Nike tag. That is like made within the last like five years. Hey guys, is this vintage? Should I pick this up? Is this vintage? Like it doesn't even say made in the USA on it. <laughs> uh, uh, if only you had a mesh router. If I, But the problem is if my, if my Wi-Fi goes down, even with the mesh router, it will still go down, right? I have to keep the Wi-Fi signal going for the mesh router's Wi-Fi signal to go. I think that's how it works, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Any tips on listing Lululemon without size tag? Pit to pit measurements, and then in the description, like right, like it looks to be a size XL or something like that, and that'll help it sell. But yeah, without the size tag, it's they're a little bit harder to sell. Have to have a size tag. You know, I seen your post at Shirt Hall. Read the message, couldn't believe the negative people. Yeah, I don't really worry about them. Everybody has an excuse on why they can't do it. Have you ever noticed, um, every one of my videos, um, somebody has an excuse. Like, they'll start the comment off something like, um, like, I can't do it because. I can't, I can't do what you do because I work a full-time job. I can't get to the thrift store and get all this good stuff because I work a full-time job. 
And I always start my sentences off, if somebody else can do it, how can I do it? Or start the sentence off as, how can I do what he does? I'm in a different circumstance, how can I do it? But everybody always has an excuse first. Um, and those people will never succeed because they always come up with an excuse on why they can't succeed. Everybody has their own thing. So, is this your full time job? Yes, it is. It is my full time job. Um, how are the trains selling? They're selling really well. Um, we still have more to list, but probably won't list them until next year now. So, more for me. Um, do you feel that putting items on eBay to sell and whatnot hurts the eBay algorithm? No. Um, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt when. When you pull an item off eBay, it doesn't hurt the algorithm at all. From what I understand, it doesn't hurt the algorithm at all. It only hurts the algorithm if you make a sale and you don't have the item listed and you have to cancel the sale um, or you're not listing consistently. So my excuse is no room. Heidi, you ready for this? Ready for this? I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to kill that excuse. Heidi, do you have a spot in the corner of your room that you can take five tubs and stack them up? Anywhere in your room, anywhere in your house, do you have a spot where you can take five tubs and stack them up? If you do, if your answer is yes, that means you can have up to 250 listings on eBay sitting in the corner of room with just five tubs. I mean, everybody has a corner of their house or next to their closet or somewhere in their house they can stack five tubs. That's 250 listings of clothing that you can have listed on eBay right there. So there is an excuse but we just killed that excuse. Using mesh router system might be your problem. No, I don't. I don't have. I don't have the mesh router plugged in at all. I don't have it plugged in right now. Yes, the Wi-Fi goes out, then it doesn't work. But your Wi-Fi is still working. Just goes slow. So essentially, picks up your Wi-Fi and then main router and distributes better where you are. Got you. Well, yeah, I'll have to figure it out. It's to be honest, it shouldn't be lagging at all. As <laughs> the the end solution is, it shouldn't lag at all. Especially since I pay for I pay for the most expensive service, it's just really annoying that we have to keep calling people out and they come out here and they check it like they check it and they find one thing that they're going to be able to fix and then they leave and then the next week it's the same thing over again. Eventually, we're going to get that one person that comes out here and checks everything and be like, "Oh, we found that one of the wires was chewed from a squirrel outside and we fixed it and then it's all fixed." So, is whatnot an app? You can do it on the app or you can do it on the. Um, you can watch whatnot shows on the computer. They have a web base too. Do you think eBay will um, um, prioritize live auctions to compete with whatnot? Possibly. They should. They should have already done that. Should have done that like freaking a year ago. Try the main box outside went bad. That's what happened to me. Yeah, they went. They went up to the box on the. There's a pole right in the backyard, and they went up there and they changed a wire that was completely chewed out by a squirrel. Looks like the squirrel got fried. Um, cause yeah, it was, it was completely chewed out and we thought that was going to fix the issue. And then within like a week later, it started doing the same thing again. So you never know what you don't try. Um, digging through tubs to find the item drove me crazy. Yeah. If you have five tubs, I mean, you just, uh, you shouldn't be digging, um, Heidi, you shouldn't be digging through your tubs to find the item. Anyway, you should have the tubs listed A, B, C, D, E, and then you should have all the items on the inside numbered. So as soon as you make a sale, you grab the item. So if you know the item is in bin B because you have it listed in your inventory as bin B, all you have to do is just grab the other tubs out, go to bin B, grab the item, go. You should have all of those. If you haven't seen my video, I posted a video like two weeks ago going over my inventory system. All my bins are lettered. Everything on the inside is numbered. In my eBay SKU has the item's um, inventory number. So I'm not going through all... I think I have like 45 tubs out there. I'm not going through all 45 tubs to look for my specific item. If it's in bin B26, I go to bin B, and then everything on the inside is stacked in order too. So I know right where 26 is, I grab it and go. Um, you should never be looking through all your tubs to find your item. You should have an inventory system. Wi-Fi booster, I have one, but the problem is my Wi-Fi goes out, then yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work. Did I reship this? Yeah, I reshipped that. I'm good. Uh, what do you use across list? List perfectly. I have a link in my bio to sign up to get 30% off your first month. Um, do you think you can make as much money without, um, doing live shows? I hate being on camera. Yes. Um, I just started doing whatnot last year before last year, I made a full-time income reselling on eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. So yes, the answer is hundred percent. You don't have to do whatnot to make a full-time income. Um, last year I did over hundred K in sales on just eBay alone. 
Um, don't you have to specify shipping method when listing an item ground versus priority? Yes, um, I would always select ground first. Always select ground because you can upgrade to priority. You can't downgrade from priority to ground. So always just list your items ground. And if it ends up being cheaper to ship priority, then upgrade to priority. And then it gets to the buyer's address quicker. Um, you give them better service, all that. Um, do you miss anything about your old nine to five? Um, yeah, I do miss, um, so I, I didn't miss any of the politics in the office. I hated the politics in the office. I hated the supervisors. They're all D heads. Um, but as soon as you get out to the street and um, your customers, those, that's the best part is when you're driving around and you talk to these. I, I had a um, like an old retirement trailer park on my route. And some of these people don't talk to anybody all day. The only person they talk to is the mailman. So like I would drive up to their house, I'd have long conversations with people in their 80s and 90s, got to learn all about them, their kids, all kinds of stuff. So that's probably the part I miss the most is like being able to talk to those people. And that's why I'm um, thankful, thankful for the post office. That's why I can do stuff like this. Before the post office, I would have never been on camera. I would have never been able to communicate like this because I learned all that from the post office. I learned that from going and talking to people twice my age, talking to people half my age, like all day long, constant different conversations, black, white, um, Mexican, Puerto Rican. Every, I've talked to everybody and I've had great conversations with, with everybody. Um, so that's why I'm able to communicate like I am because I learned all that from, from the post office. So that's one thing, one takeaway that I will say, um, having a job there has helped me um, grow in my way of communicating um, simply because I had to all day long, literally all day long. I had to communi communicate with people, tell them, talk to them. It's kind of like working, I guess, working at like um, a department store, you probably have the same, same kind of experience, except um, people, when you're, when you're working at the post office, people hold you to a higher standard. So they like feel comfortable, like talking to you about stuff they normally wouldn't talk to other people about. It's kind of, kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. Um, with doing this, have you bought anything really expensive you've um, always wanted? Um, not really. Uh, I just bought a laptop recently. That's probably the most expensive thing I've bought recently, but that's for business. That's not for myself. Um, what's your biggest motivation to keep things done each day? I got to pay the bills. Also, making this challenge keeps me accountable. If I just disappear for three months, everybody comes back and be like, where were you? Like, oh, I was... I was doing it. this. This all keeps me accountable. Doing doing this online keeps me accountable. So, yeah. What's the best way to ship large items in boxes? In boxes and probably either ground advantage or UPS ground. UPS ground is probably the the way you're gonna go. Um, how are you doing your goal? 130k. Um, do you have a daily amount that reaches goal? Lori, I just put a, a reel out yesterday. Go watch the reel. It has all the numbers in it. Um, every week on Monday, I'm going to put out another reel going over the last week's sales and uh, exactly where I'm at in the challenge. What's your favorite brands to sell? Ralph Lauren, easily. Easily Ralph Lauren is my favorite because it's easy to find, easy to sell. has to be Ralph Lauren. All right, everybody, it's almost 12 o'clock. I'm going to head off because we got to go, go get our passports done. I'm going to be live tonight on Whatnot at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you come out, come hang out. Again, if you haven't got your $15, go grab your $15 from my bio. Come out, hang out, and uh, we're, we'll have 75 auctions tonight, and we're doing Choose Your Shoes. So one lucky winner who purchased an item will be able to win a pair of shoes. We're also also going to do giveaways during the live as well for people that are just hanging out. Sorry, I got the hiccups. So make sure you come out. Um, should be a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.